President Joe Biden is set to host the first in-person gathering of leaders of an Indo-Pacific alliance known as the Quad on Friday, wrapping up a tough week of diplomacy in which he faced no shortage of criticism from both allies and adversaries. The four leaders' talks are expected to center turning greater attention to the Pacific in the face of what the U.S. sees as China's coercive economic practices and unsettling military maneuvering in the region. The White House has declined to include India in a new security alliance comprising the U.S., U.K. and Australia, ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's meeting with President Joe Biden. The Indian Prime Minister is in the U.S. to attend the first in-person summit of the Indo-Pacific Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, or so-called Quad Grouping in Washington this week. The U.S., Japan, India and Australia are part of the alliance. French Foreign Minister told U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken it would take time and actions to restore confidence in ties after a crisis triggered by Australia's cancellation of a submarine contract with Paris. France was incensed by Australia's decision last week to opt instead for a deal with the United States and Britain to purchase nuclear-powered submarines, and it recalled its ambassadors to Washington and Canberra for consultations. China is an arch-criminal intent on bullying Taiwan and has no right to oppose or comment on its bid to join a pan-Pacific trade pact, Taiwan's government said in an escalating war over, ta over ta Taipei and Beijing's decision to apply. The Chinese government only wants to bully Taiwan in the international community and is the arch-criminal in increased hostility across the Taiwan Strait, it said. North Korean said Friday the country is willing to resume talks with South Korea if it doesn't provoke the North with hostile policies and double standards. The proposal came days earlier. Korea performed its first missile tests in six months and South Korea performed its first test of a submarine-launched missile. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the world needs to change how it makes, eats and wastes food in comments to the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. Guterres called for reform of agricultural subsidies and said food should not be seen simply as a commodity to be traded, but as a right that every person shares. California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed a $15 billion package that will fund programs to tackle drought and climate change in the state after a devastating wildfire season. The package's largest portion, $5.2 billion, will go towards funding for emergency drought relief projects and expanding California's water supplies. The package includes $3.7 billion to address climate change risks. The police have arrested three kingpins involved in the kidnap of over 100 students of Bethel Baptist School, Kaduna. They said they carried out the operation in desperate bid to get money. Over 200 Chinese gaming companies have pledged to regulate their industry to combat gaming addiction, including through the possible use of facial recognition to identify minor. Eight backed, eight backed, backed gaming association said on Friday. Pakistan reported 2,233 more COVID-19 infections during the last 24 hours. Among the active cases, 4,409 patients are under critical care. 50 people have died due to the pandemic. The country's COVID-19 positivity rate now stands at 4.23%. The Punjab government has suspended the medical superintendent, MS, and a senior doctor of Lahore's Kotkawa Saeed Hospital in a case relating to the fake vaccination entry of former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. A fake coronavirus vaccine entry was made using former PM Nawaz Sharif's name in the National Immunization Management System NIMS, at the government Kotkawa Saeed Hospital on September 22. Ballooning 
trade and current account deficits have forced the State Bank of Pakistan to slow down import growth with changes in prudential regulations and reduce the financing limit and period, particularly for imported vehicles. According to new changes, the maximum tenure of auto finance has been reduced from 7 to 5 years. The amended regulations said the maximum debt burden ratio, allowed to a borrower, has been decreased from 50 to 40 pc. Pakistan Cricket Board Chairman Ramaz Raja has his mind set on convincing the Pakistan Super League franchise's owners to rope in the superstars of foreign countries to play in the tournament and is willing to offer the players big money. According to sources, a proposal was put forward which basically stated that a foreign cricketer with star power, should be offered around $250,000 for his association with PSL franchises for a season. Two clouds of gas, both like in dignity, appear side by side in the fair Milky Way. Known as molecular clusters, these enormous provinces of star-forming gas stretch across the sky, seeming to form a bridge between the Taurus and Perseus constellations where new suns can grow and thrive for billions of years to come. Dubbed the Perseus-Taurus supershell, this newly detected chasm stretches about 500 light-years wide, according to a study published September 22 in the Astrophysical Journal Letters.